So I grab him and I'm like, before you leave, like, hi, my name is Mimi, like, nice to meet you, I want you to meet my friend. So we're chatting and I was like, wait, do I sense some chemistry between us two? And I was like, so did you get any numbers from tonight? It seems like you were talking to a lot of girls. And he was like, no, but can I get yours? And I was like, smooth. But I wasn't super sure about him because he still gave off like f vibes and I was like, the fact that you got my number so easily just shows that you do this all the time. But then we texted a little that night and I was like, sorry, I was roasting you so hard. Like, that's just how I flirt. And he's like, I know, it's cute. I'll roast you back. And I was like, ah! <laughs> I'm obsessed. I did the absolute unthinkable last night. I went on a first date and I freaking kissed him on the first date. I don't know who needs to hear this today, but if he or she has a crazy ex that stalks them, harasses them, and just won't let them go, they got some good, they got some good D. No, but why do men do this? Seriously, why? Why do they do this? You know, they start flirting with you. They start flirting with you. They are opening that door. They're just walking in there like, hey, beautiful. And then they start this whole thing where they make you fall in love with them, you know, and they try really, really hard. And once they get you, you know, once they get you to text them when they haven't texted you in a while and you're like, mm, OK, maybe I should text now because Maybe he's not gonna get back to me ever and I can't let that happen so I'm gonna send him a cute picture of me and I'm gonna make a fool out of myself because I really like this guy because he told me about his traumatic past. One thing I hate about myself is that I will get obsessed with a guy who does not like me and this guy does not like me. And realistically, like, if I'm being honest with myself, I don't like him that much. Like, he hardly gives me conversation and when we talk it's really so surface level but now he's all i think about and it's really f***ing annoying because i could never see us together that would l just never work so i just i hate it here he picks me up within the first like i kid you not like two minutes of being with this man he hadn't even like fully exited my apartment he looks at me and he tells me i have a gift for you it was on new year's eve so like a couple days after christmas so i'm like oh and he's like, yeah, it's under your seat. I reach under my seat. I pull out a fuzzball. He buzzballed me on our first date. On our third date, it's pouring rain. He picks me up again. He doesn't park directly in front of the stairs the way he sh logically should have. He parked a little further, which I mean, he parked there the last time, whatever. I'm walking to the car, I'm like wearing a jacket, it's pouring rain. This man begins to drive forward as if he's gonna drive off. I have a feeling I'm gonna fall in love with him. Okay, you guys, I literally think that my ick is broken because <laughs> recently when I've been like telling my best friend something like a guy said to me that normally would have totally icked me out, it's not giving me the ick. And she's looking at me and going, Serenity, Ew, what? And I'm sitting there like, I'm smitten. I'm smitten as hell. What's good, guys? It's your boy, Justin J, coming to you with another car video. Let's cook, boys. Let's cook. All right. These are five signs that a woman wants to sleep with you. She's sexually attracted to you. I'm making this video because I get on these one on one calls, and a lot of guys don't understand. They misinterpret the videos, they don't understand. I've actually had a call recently where a guy completely messed up an entire situation after the date with the chick. She wanted to sleep with him. He misread the signs. The situation went nowhere. In a recent video that I dropped, I said, you should never say, I fumbled a woman. No, a woman plays all these goofy games. She pretty much fumbled you. Whenever you think that you fumbled a woman, it should be looked at like this. A woman's making it super easy for you. You're not reading the signs. It's going to crap because of you. Therefore, you're fumbling. But when a woman plays games with you, she is fumbling an opportunity with you. It's not as though it's not this big deal. But a lot of dudes shoot themselves in the foot with women and then turn around and keep making the same mistakes because they cannot read the signs. So I got five to go over. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Number one, 
no resistance a lot of guys miss this because they chalk it up to well she's just being nice or i've had bad experiences before so i'm just going to chalk it up to she's just being nice so i don't get let down no you cannot get let down if a woman accepts, she accepts. If she rejects, she rejects. You already know that walking into things. But see, you should never have that mindset of women don't like me, okay? We all know that you're not going to be every woman's type. But until she says otherwise, walk around like women are attracted to you. Because if you're an attractive man, women are going to be attracted to you. Never go over this. When a woman is not giving you resistance, she's sexually attracted to you. She respects you. When women don't give you resistance, they have some sort of respect for you. When women sleep with dudes, they have some sort of respect for them, right? Pay attention. When a woman's not giving you resistance, you should never look at it as she's being nice. You should look at it as I deserve this treatment. Guys don't look at it as I deserve this treatment. So they miss that sign when a woman is actually sexually attracted to them okay so from beginning to end when you get her number when you're interacting whether it's an app in person and you're talking to this chick she's bubbly she's coming forward at you not giving you any signs of resistance she finds you sexually attractive she wants things to go well why do you think i tell you guys to tell women to bring something over to your house when you invite them over because if she's following those instructions it means that she's following your lead in order to buy that specific thing she wants the night to go well following your lead when you want to get sexual she will follow that lead because she bought that so the night would go well why would she mess up the night by not wanting to have sex with you she wouldn't even be involved if she didn't want to have sex with you see women will use you but they can't use you because once you tell them to do something, they throw up signs of resistance that lets you know that she ain't feeling you like that. But when you tell a woman to do something and she follows through, there's a high likelihood that she wants to sleep with you. OK, is it 100 percent foolproof? No, but 90. I will tell you right now, if a woman is following your instructions when you're telling her to do something, there is some form of respect. She sleeps with men who she respects. You understand that women have that burning desire when they want to sleep with a dude that they respect a dude who's respectable so if she's following your lead through and through that's proving to you she's not giving you resistance no friction she's all about you you see the reason why guys have a hard time understanding female nature is because they're looking at it from a standpoint of well i just want to get what i want instead of understanding women and when you understand women it makes your experience easier with them what would you rather have me give you a million dollars or teach you how to make a million dollars you could lose a million dollars and make it right back right so a woman can reject you and you can go get another woman you will never be tripping over another woman because you know how to get another woman as opposed to me just giving you a woman see giving you the million dollars when guys understand she's not giving me resistance because she sees me as valuable she wants to sleep with you Remember that. Never let that fly over your head, bro. She's just being nice. She could just be being nice, but you know what I mean. There's a difference between being nice and following directions without giving resistance. Number two, before you meet up with her, when you're talking to her, she's going to ask you about where you stay, where you live. I'm telling you right now, I've never had a situation that I can remember go bad with a woman whenever she asks me. So, hey, do you live alone? Hey, where you stay at? Oh, I didn't see on your app. How far away does it say you are from here? Because she's looking to make things happen. She's looking to connect. I've never had a situation where a woman asked me, so do you live alone? Go bad with a woman. She was instantly inserting herself with that question. Okay. And see, when women ask you questions like that, it's always easy for you. Remember when I said, remember when I say when women make it easy for you, right? So if a woman asks you, so do you live alone? You're going to say something like, yes, I live alone. Why? You don't want nobody to hear you scream. You could be as loud as you want to over here. Right. That's making it easy. Guys don't know how to get sexual with women or even talk sexual with them. That's an easy opening. But at the same time, she's letting you know, do you live alone? I'm sexually attracted to you. I want to be free when I'm having sex with you to get loud and be myself and be who I am. You think a woman cares if you live alone or not, if she's not coming over there regardless? Yeah, women will waste your time, small talk you and stuff like that. But questions like that are never going to come up because it don't matter regardless. It don't matter. So when a woman is asking you about your spot, 
oh yeah, she wanna sleep with you. If she was flirting with you, everything's going good, you set up a date and then she's asking whether it's before the date, on the date or after the date. See, this is exactly what the dude on the one-on-one -on -one call, how he messed up everything. The chick was asking him about his spot after the date. He's, tra he's chalking it up to, oh, well, she's just trying to get some information or be nice. And I remember I'm looking at the phone on the call like, come on, bro, this is common sense. So she basically leads herself to the apartment. He says, yeah, I live close to here. She leads herself. Well, come on, let's go. They get there. He's being awkward. He's not reading the signs. He says when she got in, got on the couch, she was acting super comfortable. Okay, this is the next thing on the list. All right, so let's just get straight into it. Number three, she's instantly comfortable with you. A lot of guys are always in their head, right? See, this is why this dude fumbled, if you want to use that word, fumbled because it was his fault. This is why he fumbled it. It went to crap. When they got to the house, she got on the couch, made herself instantly comfortable. He said he didn't have a TV. The place wasn't furnished. She just got in there, but she didn't care. She was comfortable. He asked her if she wanted a drink. She said, of course, yes, I'd love it. Brought her a drink. Sitting on the couch being awkward. Why are you being awkward with the chick who comes into your house? This is how it's going to go with women. They're either going to come into your house, be super respectful, wait for you to show them around. Then there are going to be women that are instantly comfortable in your house, not in a disrespectful way. They're going to be looking around your house. They're going to like the space or they're just going to instantly plop down on something and get comfortable. All right. When a woman is instantly comfortable with you, it goes against what dudes think in their mind. See, when a woman actually likes you, you don't have to waste all this time trying to build rapport and get her comfortable. When a woman wants to sleep with you, she's instantly comfortable. A lot of guys believe the lies that are pushed out there so they don't believe that. They can have it right in front of their face and not believe it. And that's exactly what happened. The subscriber who had the one-on-one -on -one call did not sleep with that woman that night. She left and I think he got a kiss on the cheek See, this is why women will lose interest because guys don't pick up on signs like this. So just know this. When a woman is instantly comfortable with you, around you, getting close to you, right? Wanting to go back to your spot. She wants to sleep with you. Don't go making things complicated, getting all in your head and acting nervous. See, there's a lot of dudes out here who have no experience with women who have never had a girlfriend or maybe just one girlfriend. And I forget that a lot of the times. So these videos are very important. When a woman is comfortable with you, the work is done. She likes you. There is nothing else that you need to keep doing. All you need to do now is lead her, either lead her to the bedroom, lead her here, lead her to sex, lead her wherever. But you're the leader. Okay. Okay. Never screw this up and let this go over your head. Because see, even at the job, you know, the work husband and stuff, a lot of dudes deal with women at work. And guys, if you're good with women at work, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. When women let things linger, when they touch you, when they're just making it easy for you, like if you don't get it, a lot of guys get confused when they say, well, she makes it easy for me, but I don't know how to approach the situation that she's not making it easy for you. Then when a woman is making it easy for you, you're like a lion. You just pounce on it. You're on the hunt because it's that easy. And she's letting you know, she's letting you know what her actions that is easy. Every time a woman ever made it easy for me, I just went straight for it because I knew I'm like, oh, I got it because women were instantly comfortable with me. You know what I mean? At one job, I remember some chick start looking at me winks at me i go up to her come behind her and i'm like look let me see your phone real quick because i lost my phone and i'm trying to find it she's like all right whatever she gives me her phone i put my number in it i hit i hit call my phone starts ringing i take my phone out of my back pocket and i gave her her phone she was comfortable with me the whole time and i knew from in the beginning she was comfortable enough to see me wink at me give me an indication that she was feeling me Right. So I went over there, asked to use her phone. She gave me the phone. No resistance. Instantly comfortable with me. Instantly comfortable with me. Then the more that we interacted, the more comfortable she got. I already knew I had it in the bag, smashing her a week or two later. So remember, when a woman likes you, the work is pretty much done. The work on your side is minimal. She's going to be comfortable if she's sexually attracted to you. By her being comfortable, she will be comfortable in bed with you. Number four no social mask so like i said in the video five secrets that women don't want men to know women wear multiple masks so if she doesn't wear one with you she's sexually attracted to you there's nothing to hide the reason why women hide the body count and all of that stuff is because 
They're trying to wear the social mask so they can get over. When a woman doesn't wear that mask with you, she's sexually attracted to you. That's the reason why women lie about everything and try to hide away things because they know that most men can't take it. See, that's a part of you know the men's psyche that they need to deal with too. It's better for you to not be so judgmental. Let her be whoever she is because the boundaries are with, your, with yourself regardless anyway. They're not even made to be made with her. Either you like what's on the table or you don't. Stay or leave. Cooperate or leave. But all that other trying to judge women in this. No, 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 no. That makes women back away from wanting to sleep with you. When a woman doesn't wear that social mask with you, when she feels as though she can tell you things and that you can handle things. Oh, yeah, you got to write where you want her. See, that's the thing, too. A lot of dudes want that from women. They want women to tell them things that they'll never tell other people. Yes, you have to be ready for that. All right. And the thing about it is when you're ready for that, women want to sleep with you faster. When you give off this vibe that sex is negative when it's attached to women, women are going to repel from you, whether that's what you think deep down inside or not. Like women are just going to repel from you if you take that mindset to things, bro. You got to be so cold that you're like, bro, I'm him. That's what that means. You are him. They are them. You're, you're a part of them. I don't got to worry about all that badger you question you. No, I'm here to have a good time with you. Women like getting sexual with guys like that, that are not going to sit up there and judge them and be all butthurt of things they did in the past. I know dudes, it's a hard pill for dudes to swallow, but women want to sleep with you faster, bro. When they feel like, okay, I could be myself with this dude, no matter what she is. And the reason why I'm telling you guys this I've learned a lot about women through all my experience and I've had a lot of experience, but where I've learned a lot as well is through what dudes would consider 304s or chicks that are loose. Spending time around chicks like that, they will tell you the real, what really is because chicks like that have friends that are the quote unquote chicks that you would think aren't like that. See, those chicks are out there like that. The chicks that aren't like that are still friends with some of those same type of chicks, right? So you need to get into the mind of women like that to understand them, that raw nature. Don't put any feelings into it. When a woman doesn't wear the social mask around you, she knows that you can handle shit. She's sexually attracted to you. There's no reason to hide who she is from you. I know it repulses a lot of dudes, uh, women who sleep around and I get it, man. You don't want to be in a relationship with some chick who's been ran through. I get it. But a lot of dudes need to just understand this is just the nature of women. So when they're not wearing a social mask with you, you can make sexual advances. You can make sexual jokes. You could talk about anything you want to with the woman. She's sexually attracted to you. See, women are always going to say, we don't like guys approaching us and how dare men say these things. Yeah, but it depends on who's the guy. When they're sexually attracted to a guy, isn't it funny how he's not a creep? Isn't it funny how he's not a jerk? Because she wants to sleep with him. She's not wearing a social mask around that guy. It's funny. You can say something and be rude as hell to a woman. If she finds you attractive, there's no problem with it because she wants to sleep with you. If you're not sexually attractive to her, oh, we got a big problem here. We're going to HR. We got to get you locked up because she don't want to sleep with you. Number five, this is not going to be what you guys are expecting, but I swear it's so true. I swear it's so true. We talk about this a lot. You're not going to get it. Number five, she does not need you to take her out on a proper date. So that means you do not have to take her to a restaurant. You don't even have to do ice cream. You don't have to sit down anywhere at an establishment. When a woman comes over to your spot or you go over to hers, a woman wants to sleep with you. All right. Now, there are things in the middle that need to be detailed. Things need to be said. A lot of guys will invite a woman over to watch a movie, go to hook up with her. As soon as she pulls their arm away and says, well, what are you doing? He acts like he doesn't know what's going on. She's going to say, well, you invited me over to watch a movie. And you're going to think, well, you know what that means. No, you need to tell women, come over tonight so we can get cozy with each other. I can't wait to have you in my arms tonight. We're going to be laying together. I want to give you booty rubs, right? You need to say things like that. So a woman knows what's going to be happening when she comes to meet up with you. But other than that, when a woman is making it extremely easy, comes over to your spot. I don't care if it's the first time or the second time. She wants to sleep with you. If she's inviting you over there, she wants to sleep with you. 
I'm going to tell you like this, right? All of this mumbo jumbo that women spew out here. I don't really go. I don't go over to guys' houses on the first or the second day. Blah, 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 blah. He got to do X, Y, and Z. Women will do that with guys that they're sexually attracted to. And if they're sexually attracted to them, they want to sleep with them. Let's not kid ourselves here. Women can say whatever they want to say. But that stuff they saying is only to guys that they don't like. So if they pull it on you, they don't like you. But that doesn't mean it's going to be the same for every dude. When a woman comes over or you guys do whatever, like, for instance, one time this chick that I was, you know, going back and forth with on Instagram, I told her to meet me in this park. Now, from where we lived in the same town, from where she's at, the park is five blocks from where I'm at. The park is three blocks. We met in the park. She topped me off on the bleachers. And then she left. We had a little bit of conversation. We was flirting. It's our first time meeting each other. First time meeting each other. Talked for maybe 10 minutes. And it was funny because it was still light outside, but it was turning dark. In that 10 minutes, it started getting darker. Looked around. What? Took her by the back of the head. She started giving me the... Listen. In the park. Just met this chick. So this is what I'm saying. If it's not a proper date. All of a sudden now, you guys just start sleeping with each other. No, the fact that it's not an official date, she's having a good time and she showed up in the first place, bro, she want to sleep with you. Now, I'm going to tell you, that's not 100% foolproof. I'm not telling you 100% of the time, blah, blah, blah. But I'm saying guys who have had the same experiences as me are going to tell you the same exact thing I'm telling you. How am I able to tell you that you do not need to take women out on dates to get sex? Turn around, make this number five in a video. It not be true, but that statement is true because I've had sex and never had to take women out on dates. If anything, I got sex faster just inviting women over or inviting women to meet up than trying to plan a proper date. So really think about that. When a woman, she's not making rules for you. You don't have to take her on an extravagant dinner day or take her to sip and, and paint and stuff like that. No, 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 no. If a woman is inviting you over or she's she wants to come over, see, women will insert themselves to your spot too. Oh, so do you like to cook? Right? And if you say yes, she's like, what are some of the things that you like to cook? You tell her some of the things you like to cook and then she's going to say how she would like to try your food. It ain't even really about the food. It's easy access to get into your space. Let's say you do something like you train jujitsu and she's like, oh, I've always wanted to roll. And you're like, oh, yeah, I got this in my crib. I got the mats down and stuff. I'll teach you a couple of things. <gasps> really? That would be great. You don't think she was leading towards that because she knows that you do combat sports or something. She's seen it on your profile. Women lead themselves into your spot when they want to sleep with you. Make it easy for you. So remember that. You do not have to be out here taking women on extravagant dates and getting your time wasted, getting played with. When a woman really wants to sleep with you, if you invite her over, she will not make it a big crime that you're inviting her over. Now, I get it. It's not always safe for women to go over to a dude's house on the first date or whatever. But you have to realize something. Whenever women really desire to do something, even the fear of something going wrong doesn't stop them from doing it think about it women will get on a plane and fly to a country where bad things can happen to them all for the sake of having fun everything will be okay right women will get with dudes who they know are no good dangerous violent just bad dudes right women will go forth and try to change them because the desire to change them overrides the potential danger of something happening to them with the violent dude no there's so many different examples of women jumping in the face of danger to get to what they truly desire. So I say that to say this. Women will come over to your house when they want to sleep with you. A lot of the times, dudes are never direct in their conversation with a woman. Therefore, women come over and still continue to run games. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about when a woman is making it extremely easy. Like I said, number one, no resistance. You invite her over and she's happy she's bubbly she's like i can't wait she wants to sleep with you she wants to sleep with you if you're being direct and you're letting her know what you think and you want to get sexual and she has no problems with coming over to your crib she wants to sleep with you if she invites you over to her crib she wants to sleep with you and pay attention to the things women say
If a woman's talking about she hasn't been serious with somebody in a while and she hasn't been seeing nobody, this, that, and the third, there are some women that are going to be honest about it. And when you pop up, they want to make things happen because it's been a long time since they made something happen or you're a good deal that they cannot pass up on. So women will invite you over to their crib as well. So I want you guys to understand this. Never miss these signs and then mess up a situation because that's the only time that you're fumbling. When a woman is playing games with you and things aren't working out, that's not you fumbling a chick. That's her not being interested in you. Just plain and simple. When a woman is clearly interested in you, you can't pick up on the signs, which causes her to lose interest. That's when you fumble, if anything. So that was five signs that a woman wants to sleep with you. She's sexually attracted to you. Hope you guys got a lot out of this video. It's your boy, Justin J. Get with you boys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go, boys. Let's go.